Hi everyone and welcome to another Make It Monday. This is Nicole Hetty for Paper Tray Ink and today I wanted to show you a technique that I call repeat and lift and it involves using a uh, coordinating stamp and die, preferably a word uh, stamp and die, to create this colorful shadow effect um, behind the die cut. Now this works really well with our wonderful words collection, but really you can use um, any coordinating stamp and die cut that has some detail like this. So to begin, I've got a piece of white cardstock here, and I'm taking this birthday stamp from Wonderful Words Birthday, and I have orange zest and raspberry fizz ink. Now I think this looks best if you use two, do a two-tone effect. Um, on the stamp that you're going to be repeating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink the top half of this word with several light taps of Raspberry Fizz ink. And I'm going to go back in with Orange Zest ink. And I'm going to do the bottom half and just overlap slightly to blend the two colors together. Just like that. I'm going to stamp this in the middle of my white cardstock once and then I'm going to lift and repeat at a slight shadow and keep moving it around lower, higher, but just repeat it several times so you get that nice shadow effect. And this is what I end up with. It looks blurry um, right now, but that's kind of the look that you're going to want to have. Next, I've got the coordinating die cut here that I did out of uh, white cardstock. And I'm going to show you my little trick for lifting um, word dies. Um, some people have asked me in the past how I go about doing this. I've got some foam tape here, and what I do is I cut little narrow strips of it like this. Usually for a word like this I cut three little s narrow strips and then most of the time this particular tape I use is a bit too tall so I cut them in half, cut the little strips in half and then I stick these in various places along the back of the word die. Now you don't have to do every single letter. If you just do a few areas, you'll be able to get plenty of lift without having to go to the trouble to doing the whole thing. Okay, so I've got my last little two pieces here. on like this. So you can see here there's just a piece every few letters. I'm going to go ahead and take the backings off of all these pieces of tape if the backings haven't already fallen off. Now the key for adhering the die cut after you've done your repeat stamping is to do it not centered on top of the stamped area but slightly to the side so that your um, it looks like a shadow. So here's what it would look like if I did it directly on top of it centered and you really don't see that much of the color. You could do it that way if you wanted um, your look to be a bit more subtle but I, um, with this particular technique, I like to move it to the side a bit like this and then you get set to the side and down just a tiny bit and that way you get um, more of the color shining through there and it looks more like a multicolor shadow behind your word. So I just stuck that in place like that, super easy. I've got the word happy also from Wonderful Words Birthday and I'm making that up with orange zest I'm going to add that right here to the side of the birthday. 
to um, add the secondary sediment to the card here. I've got a half inch strip of orange zest cardstock and I'm adding this dare to be fabulous sediment from Big and Bold Wishes. And I'm just going to go ahead and notch the end of this. I wanted to do, do this by hand instead of using one of the banner dies because I wanted to be make sure I had plenty of um, length here um, so I can fit this to my project the way I would like. I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute here. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this piece to a Raspberry Fizz card base. Just center it right on there. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on the back of this. And I was going to just show you a little design tip here. Um, this is a fairly short phrase, but for design purposes, if you notice, if you move this further, the banner further over like this, you have a lot of empty space here on the banner, and it kind of help, makes everything look off balance. When you're doing this, what you're going to want to do is make sure that at least a couple of your letters cross over onto the Raspberry Fizz portion because it helps to just balance your project a little bit better and help the eye to just continue to flow around the card cover and not just be stuck in the middle like this. So what I like to do is um, actually stop halfway in the middle of the second to the last letter. So if you notice, I'm going to plop this down here and the U falls with its center right on the edge of this white cardstock and it just helps, um, like I said, to create some uh, better balance. So I've adhered that in place and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to trim this off from the back and there is my completed project.